Today I will be showing you guys how I color my hair here in my little small kitchen. So let's get started. So I will be using this is what the hair look like. It is a body wave. And I actually got four bundles of 20 inch. And then the closure is also four bundles. The closure is also uh, 20 inch, not four bundles. So four bundles of 20 and a 20 inch closure. I like my hair pretty full. So before I color the hair, I did usually come with something wrapped around it. It's like silver or gold. So I took that thing off to help the hair color better. Yeah. The reason why I have all the same length, I'm doing this hair for my sister-in-law and she like she requested the hair to be all in the same length. Yeah. So just make sure before you start it, I use a really big trash bag to put it on your countertop to the, so that you don't mess it up. And I went to the hair store and I bought the BW2. I bought the big uh, bucket because it was cheaper. That was $10 to get the bigger one. And I got the um, for the developer. I got the big one also because I am cheap. I don't want to buy a bunch of different, different things. So I think this is going to work. So this is what the, um, the BW2 look like. It comes like a lot. So it's good to buy the big bucket. So I mix everything off in a really big bowl because I'm going to be dipping the hair in that bowl. Yes, I am. And it's easier that way, instead of you using the brush, going over and over again, it's easier to just dip it in the box. Yeah. Make sure you always have gloves on. That is a must. Must, must have your gloves on, please. And I'm using foil. The foil is to wrap the hair after I'm done. I've already cut it out in sections to make it easier. So make sure you prepare everything that you're going to use before you start coloring your hair. It just make it easier. And I'm actually going to be coloring the closure last because sometimes the closure seems to color faster because they have less hair. So I'm going to be keeping that for the last. This is the last color I'll be doing. So as you can see, I'm going to be dipping the hair in the mixture of um, colors that I've got together. I want this hair to be like brownish, maybe kind of blondish, but not blonde, but just kind of brown. It's complicated but you see when it's done yeah and I want the the closure to not be super blonde or super goldish that's why I'm gonna be doing it last and if the closure do come out to be super light I will be using a brown dye to redo the closure you guys will see that part later on so yes I am done the closure so I'm opening the hair inside to get the to get the dye in the hair because sometimes just because you dye in the bundle doesn't mean the, the color is going to get all in there. So make sure you section the, the bundles to make sure you put the color in the, in the hair because sometimes it doesn't all go in there. So I'm going to be repeating, I'm going to be doing this same process for all three of the other bundles and the closure so for viewing purposes i am going to speed up this video because i don't want you to see here and watch me doing the whole thing so i'm going to speed it up for you so you can see okay also if you guys want to purchase this hair if you want to buy this hair i'll put the website link on the description box below so that way you can go ahead and buy this hair it's a pretty beautiful hair i really love it as you guys as you guys see it is taking the bleach pretty good and yeah so it'll be in the description box below what the hair look like we are all done i really really love the color how it turns out to be it's gold it's exactly what i want it to be but the closure is a little darker than the compared to the rest of the hair so i'm gonna re-dye the closure again 
so yes because it is just darker so i am going to dye the closure all over again because it is too dark compared to the rest of the hair so i just mix a little bit of of the dye that i've used before to redye it so, to look like after i after I redyed the closure, this is what it looked like. And this is exact color that I was going for. It, it, it matches the rest of the bundles. So now I am just going to put a brown dye just on the top of the hair. There we go. So I'm going to be using this dye. It was literally $2 and it's brown. And I'm just doing a half of the closure because I want it to be like dark, uh, like an ombre look in the front. So as you can see, I'm just doing it like right there, just on the top, just a little bit, and the rest of the closure will just stay goldish brown. As you can see, I'm not going all the way down with the closure. I am like digging in there so that way it goes in the bottom. So just like, like the beginning of the hair, you see, this is what it looked like. This is all I did, just the, just the front just half of the closure so that way it give it like that brownish look and then it flows to blonde like to goldish yeah this is the final product it's all done and always you can actually buy this hair um, at my website i'll put the website link below so that way if you want to purchase this hair you can go ahead and buy the hair on my website i'm going to provide to you guys i really hope that you guys like this video as always subscribe like comment and follow me on social media thank you Bye bye